Alright, so yesterday we, we finished the temple, and we have now left the temple. So, so. I'm assuming now it's time to move over to Tiny? Uh, we this do have new, Tiny Kong now. This so. new Kong that we've acquired. And there's, and... there's some new coins sitting around here, but first, uh, there was that guitar switch on top of the llama's cage. Oh yeah! And we have a guitar now! We do! So let's go play the guitar on that guitar pad thing. Okay! Also, as I was swinging over here, I noticed, hey, there's a couple of yellow bananas in front of the llama's cage that I missed. Oh. So, I will grab those in a moment. But, Diddy plays the guitar, and then everything dies, as normal, and it also opens up this door. So that unlocks the rest of the stage. I don't understand the relationship between guitar and door. Yeah, there's a lot. They they made no effort whatsoever to make any connection between do a thing and what happens with the thing. By the way, every single time you play a new Kong for the first time, Squawks comes down to remind you that there are five golden bananas here for them too. In every world. Not in every world. Just for each of the, the Kongs. But for each of the Kongs in every world, there is five golden bananas. Yes. Anyway, Tiny, there are those four coins right there for her so she can come and buy her instrument, which is a saxophone. She's okay. got a saxophone slam. It's slamming. I guess a slam and jam. Now, I mentioned this before during our live commentary session, but why... Why not Dixie? I don't know. Because... Presumably because they wanted to have the, the tiny aspect and the shrinking and Dixie doesn't do that. But, but Tiny she doesn't do that either until we unlock the move for her later. Right, like, like so, she, she could and, and Dixie is already known to have an instrument. She plays the guitar in her game. Well, Diddy has to have the guitar here. By the way, I thought that was red because of the lighting. It turns out it's purple. Uh, that, oh. that, that guy's hair. Right, okay. So, uh, that, that happens a couple of times in the game, where the lighting makes a oh, color looks, look different. This looks terrible. Oh, yeah. Also, I learned just there that there's a double jump thing. Oh. Like in, uh, like in Mario 64. If you jump when you land again, you get, like, a little double flip jump. Cranky's work? Cranky's lab. Lab, okay. I read that wrong. So, yeah, we, he's, he's got more potions now that we're in the second world. So let's okay. get a potion for Turn. Diddy Kong. It's the rocket barrel boost! Boost them highest. I don't like the fake lad. So, uh... Jim? Do th I don't think Diddy deserves this at all. I don't think anyone deserves this. With but if we jump in a it. barrel with Diddy's face on it, we can try the prototype jet barrel. That has nothing to do with a potion. Nope. It uses crystal coconuts. Okay, so that's the crystals. We oh, there's another Z button. Yeah, there's a uh, Z to hover while oh. using rocket barrel. You can fire your guns with while flying with the rocket barrel. Okay. But uh, yeah, the 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 jet barrel's bad. We'll see that in a little bit. Okay. But uh, first, let's let's have other people get moves at Cranky's lab here. Why not? Uh, also, there's a yellow balloon. Oh well, okay then. Also, another yellow balloon. Oh. It's hard to tell that they're specifically yellow, but... Yeah, again, like... the lighting really fucks up your ability to tell the colors apart, which uh, kind of has causes some problems, since colors of things are a primary mechanic of this yeah. game. Yeah. And it's not... They didn't choose very colorblind friendly colors, either. Nope. So, uh, another five coins for Donkey's Strong Kong! Strong Kong! Strong Kongus. Which is meaningless. Listen up! Anyway, now Donkey Kong can jump into a barrel with his face on it to become temporarily invincible. Oh. That also uses crystal coconuts. That seems less useful than flying around in a jetpack. It also doesn't sound like the thing you would call Strong Kong. Uh, anyway, Tiny does not have enough money to get another move, but hey, there's some money over here. Oh! So let's go pick up some money and get, uh, get Tiny her first move. She needs four, right? Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's three for the first one. Oh. And also, while she's here, let's, let's have her kill this guy. Yeah, let's get her purple And friend. get her purple friend. 
All right, her first ability. What is it? Oh yeah, uh, by the way, I, I hadn't mentioned this yet. Tiny is actually Dixie's younger sister. Oh. They just decided they wanted to have another Lady Cone design. Mini Monkey. Okay, so this is so the here's, tiny here's like tiny. Tiny's whole deal is uh, with her first move. Now you can jump into a barrel with Tiny's face on it to shrink. And that also uses crystal coconuts. So, so everybody now that we've collected has their face barrel ability. Yes. Which uses, they all use crystal coconuts. Yep. Okay. So, we've so got... we're, we're unlocking stuff. Yep. Slowly and sure. And here's, here's Tiny's uh, move, running attack. Kind of just... Just, kind of just, just a somersault roll. Yeah. Uh, and here's, here's crystal coconuts. You already have, uh, you start out with a full supply of crystal coconuts. Oh. If, uh, 20 is your maximum. But yeah, now that, uh, we can actually use crystal coconuts, we can pick them up. Because we couldn't before. Yeah. Just because. Just because. So there's, there's some stuff over there. There's a big rock, big boulder. Yeah. There's some yellow coins back there, Found but two. we're grabbing bananas. There's some more four and three. banana port pads. Three, two, two, three, and four. And Red. Here's the, here's one of them rocket barrel barrels. Diddy space on it. Diddy, yeah. So, uh, here I was, I was looking around for a tag barrel to see, like, oh, let me switch to Diddy, but there's not a tag barrel out here, right there, which is weird. It feels like there should be. Here's a temple with the llama face on it. And so, presumably, we need to free the llama. Yeah. And, and there was the, the pad with Donkey Kong's face on the pad. Yeah. Which is blue, not yellow. Yep. Because it, it's a pad. It's it's not a collectible. Ah. I... <laughs> uh, so, uh, Tiny has a really bad jump. Oh, is that her thing? Does, <laughs> does she move faster at all? Not really. Uh, she's, she's just kind of not very platformy good. Until you have unlocked additional moves for her. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, See? But hey, here's a, here's a tiny thing. Here's oh, a here's a, it's but, a tiny. Uh, we're not going to use it yet because oh. generally, um, with those tiny barrels, you want to know where you're going before you jump in and start using it. Right. Because, you know, you, 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 it uses crystal coconuts to keep it up, yes. and when you're tiny, you move even slower. What? Because now you're tiny. And you don't cover as much ground. So, uh... Cool. Yeah, cool. so before I go in there, let's let's take a look around and find out where we're actually going to go with that. And we come up here and see, oh, I can't even do this yet because this tiny little hole has bars over it. And so you're we not gotta... that tiny, you're just a little tiny. Yes. No, you, nobody can pass through bars. That's, that's just impossible. Monkeys can't pass the bar. So here's a, a tag barrel up here so we can get Diddy over here. And here's all those gongs that, you know... We we saw outside and Wrinkly mentioned, hey, hit the gongs! Hit the gongs with your chim chim chum. Hit the gongs to do a thing. So while we wait for this to happen, um, some more about Wrinkly Kong. Yeah. So uh, the next Donkey Kong game after Country Three, not counting Land Three because that didn't have its own unique story, mm -hmm. was Diddy Kong Racing. Right. Diddy was off. Diddy fucked off to have his adventure off in a place in some weird magic land, a racing adventure. So, this the, the story of that was that Old Kong family friends, the Tigers, were visiting. Right. And then, you know, Timber Tiger, who was left behind to watch their island, had called for help, and Diddy went and answered. Right. And there was a genie who hadn't been seen for a hundred years. Thought it was fifty years. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, um... So, I was, I, that, that got me thinking, you know, old family friends visiting shortly after Wrinkly's death, that was obviously when the funeral uh, was the happening. Funeral. Mm -hmm. Which means Diddy fucked off and skipped the funeral. I mean, he's young and he probably doesn't have a good way of Yeah, like, like he's, I, I think he's like a teenager. Emotions. Yeah. Or he, like preteen somewhere in that, that age range. And, you know, he, he dealt with her for two 
What are yeah, it, it, they're not even related. She's the Kong family matriarch, but she's Donkey Kong's grandmother. Yeah, Diddy's not related, related to them. Diddy's not even the same species. Yeah. Anyway, uh, jumping in this barrel is a pain in the ass, and here's the jet barrel. Okay. Controlling this is horrible! Why is the camera at a Dutch angle? Why wouldn't it be? Well, because you want to move in a straight line. So, this thing, momentum with this damn thing, is absurd. Just, like, look at that, turning. You can turn on a dime, but your momentum will not stop. So anyway, I grabbed the golden banana that was up on the top of this after which it rose up. Which caused the saxophone to which appear. Which caused the saxophone pad to appear. So now Diddy can jump off and get himself flattened. Because there's falling damage. Of course there's falling damage. I could have taken a, a like, gone off the, the tiers down the tower and gotten away from that, but... And we play the, the saxophone on the saxophone pad, and here comes Squawks. What? Squawks is angry because t Tiny is far too heavy. Tiny's too heavy for Squawks, so we make what her tiny. Oh. And then when, when she is tiny, then Squawks. Um, and Squawks comes back and tells us about Crystal Coconuts. You can cancel the move by holding Z. That's <laughs> thir Z left. 13? 13 unique uses for the Z button? Something like that. Uh, and also, I would like to point out, that is even further overloading the command for pulling out your weapon. So you cannot pull out your weapon while you are tiny. But you can play the tiniest saxophone. Yep. And then Squawks comes back and picks us up. And hold on, Tiny, here we go! Blark! You think he wouldn't have to be called by a saxophone because he's your friend or something? Ah, uh, no, Squawks is a little shitbird. He ain't gonna do anything unless you call him actively. And then he just drops, he drops your us hole. in here and hey, there's a bug. What? This is Beetle. What? Oh. Yeah, it's it's Tiny. The Beetle apparently knows Tiny. Okay. Then if we can beat him to the bottom of this slide and collect 50 coins, we can have his golden banana. And we steer with the, the stick and if they're pull friends, back why don't the speed you just give and aid and jump. And, and here we go, it's a mini game. Why don't you just give him the golden banana if you're friends? They're not friends. Oh. This guy's an asshole. Oh. Of course, touching him hurts, because he's an asshole. I like how... Controlling uh, is bad. <laughs> and if you fall off, you instantly lose. I like how it lets you know that you're either in last place, or winning, or... Yep. For some reason, retired. <laughs> uh, and when you lose, he laughs this obnoxious, shrieking laugh. Mm. So this is like the princess's secret slide, but worse? Absolutely, exactly like that, but worse. It's like the princess's secret slide if you could lose your coins. Yeah. And, uh, so this, this took me a number of tries to get through. It's a little like the princess's like a... secret slide if you were Sonic the Hedgehog. Kinda, yeah. Also, like, th there's dark because Rare just fucking loves darkness light gimmicks. Mm. They just love making things not able to be seen. Well, yeah, that's how you do good graphics. Exactly. Anyway, a couple of these spots have split paths, and one path has coins and the other doesn't. So, yeah, you have to memorize. You, would, uh, you just, in general, on this slide, you kind of have to memorize. That's another thing that Rare does not like is sight-reading platforming mm -hmm. segments, or like anything. They really do not give you the ability to just look at this and be able to react to what you see. Unless you have played it already and know, having memorized what is coming. Like right there. I feel like there was no way I could have known that turn was a, a death gap. And there was a, here's a, a nice death montage, it's been a while. Mm. And, uh, but then I, I got through and the very last segment of it, you have to run. And the beetle runs faster than you. So, uh, but hey, well, yeah, I won. He's got more legs. But I didn't have 50 coins. So he's not giving you the banana. So that doesn't count. It's almost like they, uh, wanted you to suffer more than normal. Yeah. So, uh... This is the winning run? This is the winning run. Okay. Wow, even sped up, it's annoyingly long. Yeah! This is like a full... 
two minutes, top to bottom. And if you, so, and of course, that's another thing that Rare likes doing is having lengthy segments where one mistake makes you restart the whole thing. That you need to remember because you can't That you need to memorize. It's uh. See you next time, folks.